Hello and welcome to today's video. I'm going to be taking the cover off of my Nissan Leaf lithium ion battery pack that I purchased a while ago. It's been sitting in the garage ever since. Uh, I haven't powered it up since about August when I took the last video. It looked really similar to this. Uh, this is my little can sniffer program if you haven't seen it. And uh, it's sending over Wi-Fi down to my laptop. We're down in the basement right now. And it's reading the um, individual cell voltages. That was one of the first things I got up and running. Uh, interestingly enough, uh, when, I, when I put it away, or when I, I guess in August, uh, it was reading 10 bars, and now it's down to 6, so it's definitely got some self-discharge. I don't remember what the, um, how many kilowatts it thought was available. Now it's down to 110. Um, I'm not sure if the balancer actively balances while the battery pack is effectively off, because I'm not telling it to turn on during all that time. So um, if it's not balancing, they're all within a few one hundredths of a volt, so they're not too terribly bad off. Um, if it is actively balancing, then eh, they're, they're off by a bit. <laughs> I would expect them to be much closer, but maybe that's uh, within reason. I'm not sure. So um, uh, this is the uh, uh, battery voltage. It thinks that this is the entire stack, which is around 384.2 volts. And then this is my uh, summing of all of the cell voltages, which is around uh, 384.2. Every once in a while, there's a um, uh, it interprets one of the packets wrong. So this is a very kludged together uh, thing just to get it up and running. I'm not planning on using uh, the CAN bus because this battery pack is set up for 96 cells in series, and their microcontroller is expecting to balance across 96 cells in series. And I'm reconfiguring the pack. Uh, my, uh, th this is going into my Selectria E10 um, electric truck. And it's currently got 24 gel cells, 24 12 volt gel cells, uh, two series stacks in parallel for a 144 volt system. Um, so I'm going to have to do something similar with this. I'm going to split this pack in half and then remove some cells. So I'm going to end up with, um, out of the 96 cells, I'm going to use 80 cells. And of those 80, 40 will be in series in parallel with another 40 in series for a 150 volt nominal battery pack, which is really close to 144 volts. So it should be good uh, with that. And uh, let's see what else. Do, do, do. Um, yeah, it's just been sitting for a while. And um, I'll go ahead and head out to the garage and I'll show you the setup out there, the hardware. Hold on. Okay, so we're back out in the garage here. and. Uh, this is the setup we have going. Uh, it's uh, just a 12 volt battery with a circuit breaker on there running my uh, DMOC adapter. Hooked up to my uh, AMC test box because <laughs> that's, that's just what I happen to have for the... I'm only using one switch on it which is just the on off switch here. And uh, it was convenient. This is the uh, pinout that I figured out from the connector that's on here. The interface connector. It's down here. And then I just got a bunch of little cables going in here to get it all up and running. Uh, there's some other videos where I go over all of this. But uh, yeah, this is the setup. I'm going to take this thing apart. Um, so this is just making sure that it actually worked, still worked since it's been sitting for a while. And what I'm going to do is use this, um, since I can get the uh, basic uh, data out of the, um, the over their CAN bus, and I'm not really planning on using theirs. Um, I'm probably going to put the way I'm going to split it up. I'm going to have to take out some parts and uh, probably put my own microcontroller or two in there, and then um, communicate like uh, back to um, you know. I want to have a little display that shows all the battery voltages and everything in the truck, and hopefully uh, just make use of their balancing hardware and. Um, yeah, so that's the plan anyway. Um, the reason I got this all up and running is so that I can probe their the serial bus that they use to talk to all the balancing chips and see what commands they're sending across for the different conditions. So I'm kind of happy that some of the batteries are actually out of balance. Um, that way I can see which you know what the command is to turn on different uh, shunt resistors and so on and so forth. So that'll be interesting, and um, I've seen people use chisels to get these apart. They're bolted together, and then there's like a gasket uh, that goes all the way around the whole thing. I will be using an uh, oscillatory tool. Uh, one of these, um, you know, uh, it's, for, it's got a blade on there for um, removing 
I don't know, grout or I guess like if you had a bunch of tiling down on the floor, you'd use it to get all the goop up, you know. So it fits in here pretty good. So you can feel the, the sponginess from of the uh, gasket material that's in there. So hopefully that makes quick work of it. And I'm uh, going to wheel it out. It's on dollies still. Wheel it out to the center here. Move the truck out. So I got lots of room to work. And um, yeah, so hopefully uh, we'll have this puppy uh, going to take it all apart. I want to just take the cover off and then see what it looks like on the inside. Uh, this battery pack is, has been punctured. It's got a big dent in it, so it's not hermetically sealed anymore. So hopefully there's nothing bad in it, but uh, it was wrecked. I got it on eBay and uh, it's been sitting for about six months or so in the garage. So it's finally, um, I don't drive my truck over the winter because uh, it has no rust protection and the, it has electric heat, which is really anemic. It doesn't really work when it gets below freezing. And um, yeah, it's currently a nice 45 degrees in here. So uh, yeah, not too bad. It's a little chilly, but uh, not too bad. Uh, it's definitely been a lot colder recently. It was like zero a few days ago, but anyways, it's warmed up. And uh, so yeah, anyways, <laughs> I'm just rambling now. So thanks for watching.